Wait, 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 on, on three. All right, all right, all right. One, go, <laughs> go, Mercury, <laughs> stop getting air freshness. <laughs> This is a serious up, leak. All right, let's go, guys. Welcome to the very first ever budget build challenge uh, brought to you by Outback Equipment. We've got a couple of teams along in this one. we got Sammy and Mitch in the big bad Delica. Berkey's back. Uh, the Navi in the trusty Land Rover. we got the girls in the dirty Datsun. Bree and Bridget. And then down the end, the big bad Jeep. we got Macca and TJ. This has been a crazy four days. we got one challenge to go, but if you want to see it from the start, let's go. Stay tuned. Alright guys, here we go. The very first ever budget build challenge. Uh, to say this is exciting is a little bit of an understatement. We brought a special guest in for this one. He's back. I'm back. Here I am, guys. Let's go. The big man Berkey's back. If you've just joined us, he was our OG explorer. He's, he's disappeared for a couple years. I had a break. He had a kid, let's be honest, but he's had a good time. He's back for this one. So uh, look, guys, all good budget build challenges start out the front of a super cheap auto, last minute supplies and fixing stuff. Uh, we've got here a little bit early this morning and then there's three other cars rocking up. You would have seen a little bit of social media. Uh, you should have seen the build video on the uh, big girl behind us. If you haven't checked out the build video, guys, make sure you go uh, check out Red Dirt Diaries, TJ Jack, Sam Wiles, and then uh, the previous video on our channel. Have a look at all the build videos first and then come in, sit down and enjoy the ride because we've got four epic episodes coming. One on every channel, guys. We've got a series of challenges. We're going to tally up all the points from all the challenges uh, and there's going to be a winner. Now, the best part about the winner is he's going to win about five grand, B. So we are. So we're going to win about five grand and uh, the money is all going to charity, which is absolutely awesome. So uh, there's a couple of cars uh, should be coming very shortly. I think they're hidden around the corner. I'm going to jump on the two We'll call them around and uh, let's check out these other budget builds. Are you excited? Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what they've all got. There's nothing on ours, but I'm sure there's a couple that aren't too shabby. <laughs> can't beat them. <laughs> all right, guys, let's call them around. All right, so the girls are coming around. We actually have no idea what they've got. I don't know. Have they got two cars? They've. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the girls. They, they had some serious, serious drama. Uh, you'll have to check out their build video for that. One of the girls may or may not. I don't know. I don't know whether they got one car, two cars, no cars. I don't know. Yeah, what then they had done. two cars, then they sold a car, then they got another car. It's uh, a little bit confusing, but um, we're actually no idea. No so idea. Let's, uh, let's see what comes around this corner. Any guesses? I don't know. Bree is a die-hard Nissan fan. Bridget's a Toyota fan, but you're not allowed any Toyotas. Fair one enough. car looks huge and one car looks small, so we'll, I know. we'll I, find out. I really don't know. Oh, <laughs> ah, it's a dirty, filthy Nissan. It is a Nissan. Yeah, the girls! That's actually pretty cool. That's sick. I've never even really seen one of these on the tracks. Have a look at that. Woo! Boy. How did we know it was going to be a dirty Nissan? I had to say on brand, mate. I've got a TD. <laughs> oh, how good. Pull her in. I think we've got the next car coming around the corner. What a beast. I actually like it. I, I really want to see this off-road. It looks like it's already been off-road. Yeah, it looks like it's already been <laughs> off-road. Have you girls been testing it out before yeah. you got here? Yeah, this morning, quick test run before we brought it a in. Quick wheel? <laughs> yeah, quick wheel. All right, next car through is TJ and Mac. Any guesses? Oh, I'd be Something pretty stupid, crazy, yeah. Poke, yeah. Lots of noise. Yeah, if Mac's had anything to do with the build, it's probably <laughs> going to be nine inches. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, boys. Boys, you know, mate, here you go. <laughs> You're kidding, Woo! aren't you? Oh my god. How's she sound? America. <laughs> Pull in. Sammy's uh, just coming around the corner. I don't think he's going to beat the ridiculousness of this one, but. Uh, 
You never know, with Sam. <laughs> Let's find nah. out. He'll build something kidding. out of that hut. Sure. What do you mean budget build? This is ridiculous <laughs> build. <laughs> did everyone else just have five grand? Did yeah. they have like? Did they get thirty-five grand? <laughs> that thing is clean ass. Are you joking? She's got issues. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. We've got issues. <laughs> That's a great start when you pull into the car park. We've got issues. I think they're gonna have to buy flares while they're in there. Yeah. Should we go to Bunnings next and get some garden edging? <laughs> All right, there's one last car to come. Uh, it was always gonna be a toss up. Whose was more ridiculous, your guys or Sammy's? But uh, any guesses? Sam. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Definitely Sam. <laughs> Why that's in the budget? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is going on here? How's the cam on it? No way you got a Delica on budget. Oh yes we did. It's, it's a bit more rusty than you think. <laughs> oh sunroof and everything. How's the Staino? Yep, sounds plastic. <laughs> what the hell did you guys get? I, I see a trend. These look all a little bit too sensible. <laughs> I don't hang know. On, hang on. I don't know. Hang on. Have what, a look at it. What, what is this? <laughs> You're talking about my budget. Dude, this is gnarly. Oh. And that's a V8? Yeah. Whose that? Who's is that? Shed life all over it. Oh, yeah. That's the boys. What did you get? This one? No, nah, no. Nah. So the girls oh, are in the dirty the Nissan. Girls car. Me and Berg's are in the uh, the Rover. Diesel? Disco. Diesel? No, nah, mate. V8 petrol. You're joking. <laughs> She's good enough. I wanted a V8. She's good enough for us. So we've got, we got two, two V8s. And what's this? Diesel or petrol? Diesel. Diesel. Alright guys, <laughs> we've actually got one more surprise for the budget. Uh, we told you you weren't allowed to bring any camping gear or anything to cook your, your meals on. Uh, super cheap. They've actually come to the party. We've got a couple of vouchers, so last minute before any camping trip, we're going to run into Super Cheap. We've got 500 bucks each to spend. Each. You can spend it on air fresheners, you can spend it on camping chairs, you can spend it on whatever you want. We we're the on. Thank you. We're on. Now, the best part is we're going to put a time limit on this, I reckon. 10, ten minutes. 10 minutes. Nah, oh, right, but, but 10 right. minutes. <laughs> nah. Ten, ten. 10 minutes to the checkout, not including beep, beep, beep. That'll yeah. take half an hour. 10 minutes to the checkout, so we'll start the clock. I'm just going to buy all the barbecues, so here's a. <laughs> I'm going to chair, I don't want to sit on the ground. Well, that means you're cooking. Yeah. <laughs> 10 minutes, 500 bucks, let's get stuck in. 10 minutes to do it, mate. This is what I'm good at, spending money. <laughs> All right, so we've got 500 bucks, 10 minutes to spend it. What do you reckon we need? All right, guys, we're going to need gas, cocker bottles, pans, plates, cutlery, chairs, tables, head torches, shovel, compressor, deflator. Oh, definitely. Okay, there's a bit to get. Let's go. We seriously need a barbecue because we don't have one. Yep. And we need a camp chair each. Otherwise, it's going to be awfully oh, cold is. sitting yeah. on the ground. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait, wait. On, on three. All right, all right, all right. What? One. <laughs> Go back, you Stop getting air freshness! We need barbecues! We're getting! We're camping gear! Camping gear! Camping gear! Get out of our way! Three more. Plate, plate and barbecue! Oh! Yeah, yeah, that's it! Get it! Okay, quick, yes, there's only one left. And thank God! Grab some good chairs! 44 bucks! We want these ones! No! Yes, there's only two left! No! Yes. Lost the head oh, oh, oh. Shovel! Um, it's later. It's uh, it's up there in the budget, mate. Oh, that Wait, that one. Oh, here we go, little one. That's us. Three by three. That's all we need. This is us. <laughs> Seventeen dollars each. <laughs> we do need some ratchet straps. Oh, oh top. Grab that one. Twenty bucks. Air freshener. Air freshener. I got air freshener. Black ice. Black ice. All right. Okay. All right. We got it. Is that? All right. Let's see how much we're up yeah, to. Yeah. Can you tell us what we're up to? Uh, Let's go oh, we got more money! <laughs> Plater we got, oil we need. Super glue we got. We just need a compressor. And we need like a roll of electrical tape. 130 bucks. Hopefully we have budget. Dude, we got budget, we got budget. You reckon? Yeah. Max shockingly calm. What do you reckon? We'll, up, we'll update the girls' car from a uh, four cylinder to a V8. Right. Let's get some stickers and put them on everyone's car. Four cylinders. Oh, look at that thing. 20 bucks. Oh, no, no budget. No budget. <laughs> We're getting it. We need a little bit of a price check. We're not sure how much money we got left. Okay, let's go. Are you a club right, member? Yeah. Because the price could come down a little bit if you're a club member. I'm a trade member, actually. Oh, yes. look at that. We're on. <laughs> so we've quickly found out it's the Deleaky Delika because she leaks everywhere. Oh, here. Diesel. Bang. Oh, sweet. It's very expensive. That's fine. We'll get it. It's essential. 
We uh, woke up this morning and it was dry on the dipstick, like no oil in it. All right, we got 89 bucks left. I've sent Berkey back in. I'm a little bit scared with what he's gonna get, but we got about three minutes left. We haven't got lights. We have no camp lights. Oh, Layton. With the USB charger. Okay, that one, we're gonna add. That one, that one. 467. 67, 33 bucks, yeah. Grab some stubby coolers. Any good stunnings or hats? Why don't we go set aviators each? Either, just yeah. There we go. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Breakfast, mate. The boys are paying for it. The, the essentials, but make the other sims pay for it. <laughs> make it super. Quick Thank math. you. Quick math, we were going to go downgrade to the single burner and we can get it. But I don't think we need a compressor, there's servos everywhere. If we need one, I'll just steal theirs and just secretly. <laughs> 50 bucks left. What else do we need that's essential? We're going to have so much energy. Yeah, one of them. Keep us going. So you got $2.80 left. That's, that's alright. We'll use it up. Done. We just start yelling timers over to scare everyone. Yeah. Yeah, that's the 10 minutes going. That's away. time! That's 497 dollars <laughs> 97 Uh, Mars bar. <laughs> 499.45. Boom! Yes! <laughs> Don't leave your trolley line around, eh? <laughs> go, 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 go! What can we steal? Steal their knife and fork kit. <laughs> Flying out. <laughs> okay. Because you know where our spotties were? Yeah. You can pinch the wire from that. Oh, it's electric. Yeah. Hi! Hi, how are you going? Lovely. This is the wire that air on. <laughs> it's gonna wake everyone up every morning. My hat. <laughs> Thanks, ladies. No and I reckon this has been done to this car in how many years, Bree? Oh, a long time. Legend plates certified. On. What you do is you take the cap off, put a stone in there, put the cap back on, it's got a slow leak. <laughs> That's not a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 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 Wait, we got air horns. <laughs> <laughs> we did buy most of the things you need. Air compressor, got oil, cooker, cutlery, some like cable ties and tape. Where's the oil? Well, the oil's in the front. Otherwise, oh, we just got stickers and Red Bull. <laughs> and a shovel. <laughs> Everything that you need for a good time. Table chairs, air freshener, Bluetooth, so that yes. we can listen to music, music in our really old car. Straps, chairs, the full cooking gear. I feel like we probably got the most out of everyone. They're set to go. Did you put stuff on our account? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Berkey, they stitched us oh, up. I knew that was going to happen. When you walked away, we passed her a oh, and they just gave it back to us and put it on your account. That's not on, eh? Hey. Glad we stole their knives and forks then. They're not getting their back. It's actually crazy what you can get for 500 bucks. So five grand, 500 bucks. I'd happily take this thing to Cape York. Oh, let's go. We're set. All right, well that's the little super cheap challenge done. Well done everyone. I'm pretty sure me and Berkey won. Nah. <laughs> um, next Berkey challenge, we're gonna go from here straight to a servo somewhere. Everyone's gonna fill their car up and then uh, we're gonna stop at a, at a servo on the way down and we'll do a uh, Economy test. Just oh! make, oh. make sure everybody puts the right fuel in their car. Right? <laughs> Shout out to Super Cheap Legends. Let's go, guys. Hopefully, yeah. we make it to the next stop. Guys, you want to win the ultimate rooftop tent and awning setup? We're currently giving it away on the online store so you guys can get out and enjoy the Explore Life. We got the Bush Company 270 XT Max awning along with the AX27, the big dog of the uh, Bush Company range. I've been running these products on my truck for the last year, year and a half. It is the ultimate setup for your full drive. All you got to do, grab out any item off the Explore Life store, hat, sticker, stubby cooler, shirt, whatever it is, every single item's an entry, guys. If you want to get in, get in this month. We pick the winner at the end of the month. Good luck. All right, there we are. We're fully loaded, got all the gear I think that we need can sleep, got camping comfortable, we've got food, we've got cookers, all good to go. And now, economy test, which we may be in for a chance here. We would definitely be in. Two V8s will be f***ed. It's just me and the girls, we'll see what happens. We don't have to count our oil we consume. So no. We're gonna win Every there. time we stop at the servo, it's fill the oil and top up the fuel. <laughs> Going to put the fuel in. Three 
you're going to fill it up so that we don't make any bloody mistakes here at this crucial moment. Test one, fuel economy. Nothing like the best, mate. There we go. We're on. We're going to lose this one. Premium. Oh. Oh. Is that meant to happen? That's not meant to happen. Oh, this is full. That's when it's full. So because I love you, and now you owe me one, Ooh. Sam Sam put a rock in your valve, your tyre is going flat. No. <laughs> I don't want you to get death wobbles and die. We're at about 10 pounds. <laughs> 10 pounds already for highway driving. Yeah. Perfect. We just filled up, we've come up with a bit of a plan. So the boys of the V8s, we know they're not going to win, but we're going to completely f*** them. And uh, what are we going to do? We're going to do some highway racing. So we'll get up the side, do the old chop chop. Three, two, one. There goes the like, Macca, let me hear that thing. Give us all it's got. And we'll just sit there and, you know, economy. And they'll just rah, chew through all their fuel. Well, that's the plan anyway. We've got this challenge in the back. Turbo D. I reckon. We got it in the back. Just pulled up at a servo. We've done about 120 k's. We've got the odometer. Everyone's going to run around, fill up their cars, and we'll see. Uh, we'll see who's got the worst fuel economy. This is just a lounge chair. Eh? It's Ours so is good definitely not. Except if you hit a big enough bump, the rear just smashes on the tires and just <laughs> smell burning rubber. <laughs> Just gonna run off uh, who's put the most amount of fuel in, so we'll go around the circle. What do you got? 15. 15! Was it 14 to 3? 14 to 3, I think. Wait, is it exactly. Let's get 14 34. 14 34. 19.6. 19. 19. 19. <laughs> 19. <laughs> 19. <laughs> 19. <laughs> what did you get? 23 litres! <laughs> So that means one point to Sam, two points, three points. We got four on the start. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, is that the other way around? Yeah, we get the most points for winning. No, more no, no. Most no. Points it's, points like playing golf. Golf. it's like playing golf. So okay. whoever's got the oh. least amount of points at the end of the weekend wins. Yeah, it's just easy. Is this the right way to do it though? Yeah, because then we well, might we... travel the exact same. Distance. And we yeah. filled up. The yeah, yeah, same yeah. Did everyone fill up up to the green? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 All right, so we're gonna go and try and find a campsite. Um, we're gonna pull up for the afternoon, kick back. We're gonna set all the cars up, see everyone's touring setup, because uh, that'll be our second points challenge to see everyone's uh, camping setups, and we're gonna have to vote on who thinks uh, the best setup is. And um, yeah, kick back, enjoy a few beers, and just enjoy it tonight. Hello Berk, he's been whinging, so time for a quick little lunch stop at uh, Woodburn on the river. Somehow we ended up on the old highway following the girls, not going to say anything, 
and Sam ended up on the big highway. You know what? At what? least we're not doing U turns, we're still heading in the right direction. <laughs> Well, we were going to get some takeaway, and uh, Mac, Mac seen a pub, Bridget seen a pub. What happened? Pub time. Yeah. <laughs> this is what uh, any Forby's about, finding a great pub with a good feed. Cheers, biggies. So I bet you probably just enjoyed a beautiful sequence at the pub, you know, having some food, but there was something missing. Me and Mitch, because we're on the side of a highway. <laughs> they left us for dead, eh? So we've decided to get our own beers and our own kebabs. Look at that, the little cook up. And we'll uh, see them coming down the road and give them the finger and disappear. We were literally like 10 minutes in front and then they're like, half an hour later, they're like, oh yeah, we decided to stop in town at a pub. And by that point, we were like 40 minutes down the highway. So. Thanks for the heads up, eh, boys? We'll see you uh, see at the campsite. Yeah, man. It's us, buddy. It's almost three o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> We've been here for literally an hour, hour and a half. We're on, let's go. Well, we made it. Marker's on the markers. Berkey's on. Is it weird that I'm Berkey's on marker. Oh, is it weird that you're... <laughs> How does marker taste? I'm just not, not that thirsty anymore, actually. <laughs> Time to get the uh, campsite set up and um, we'll have to walk around and check out everyone's. Did you buff? Yeah, yeah, the bonnet up, up already. Yeah, when, do we want to know why the bonnet's up? No, I don't. Is there any like, reason it's blowing it's cold, white smoke? Like or? I don't know. Oh. So there's no water in the oil, so it means it's not a head gasket. That's good. The O2 sensor's cooked, so it's just over feeling for any Italy. And now, we get, now we've taken the mufflers out, the smoke's not getting caught by anything. <laughs> and we still lost the fuel challenge. <laughs> <laughs> Right, uh, well we got the awning out. It's honestly been five years maybe since I set an awning like this up. The girls are currently struggling with theirs as well, but we've got a couple of swags to throw out and then we'll do a little walk around and check out everyone else's. But in the meantime, let's laugh at the girls. I think, let it go, see if it works. Yeah, she's on. Be really gentle with it. 40 bucks, marketplace. The world's moldiest awning. Give it right. Right, so if you watched our build episode on this car on my channel, you'll know we have a special surprise on the roof of this thing. Me and Mitch have just spun around the corner to set it up, and we're about to go and reveal it to everyone. It's the rooftop bar, VIP only. Let's see their reaction. I think we're gonna take out this camping setup for sure. <laughs> so, <laughs> I believe it. That's sick. It's terribly simple but effective. We've got bunk beds. And where do we find that? Marketplace, 60 bucks, and they even threw in this free table. So they threw in the table. This was all part of our budget. We were pretty smart with the super cheap thing. Before we went in, we wrote a list. So we could basically work out what exactly we needed, and we have pretty much everything. What don't we have? 
We don't have tongs. We don't have utensils. Like other than knives and forks, that's all we've got. We forgot everything else, but that's fine. We've got this amazing door. Massive. And we decided to put fat wheels on the back, and it actually hits, and the door opens that much. But that's okay. We've got our fridge, which also doesn't work. Uh, it's been working for years, and I plugged it in, and it doesn't work. So now it's you, on emergency override. Yeah, you put it on emergency override, and it's basically full fridge. And then we just have to gauge the temperature with how the cold the beers feel. Welcome to the little budget set up out the back of the disco. Oh, yeah. Give you a quick little walk through here. I'm finished. just cooking the clothes. I'm heating them up. Finished undressing. We got a little cooking bench slash bar on the back. Right, I'm out. Yeah, well, that's, the, like, that's just storage. That's where you store. And then we just, you know, look at that. Bang them up there. Versatility. Another light behind Bergie's head. So we got the full lit up kitchen. The new cooker. Couple little camp chairs. We got the awning outside here. And uh, a couple of swags. And people have fancy slide out kitchens and uh, pantries. We got baskets with our pantry. Yeah, well, not. for our setup, we didn't need the slide out. And the fridge, so let's try the fridge. Basically, fridge equals beer. Beer, you need a cooler. So over here, we got a cooler holder. Cooler dispenser. Can I have a cooler bag? Yeah, Baker just hooked this up the other day. It's bloody genius, I actually love it. You just grab it there. There you go, buddy. Oh, thanks, Wait, buddy. Grab one for yourself. <laughs> um, so and that's it. Cheers, Easy as that. I knock you screwed through the wheel well to get it in there though. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Sneaking around the back. We got a uh, little cheap washing up tub. 20 litre jerry in there. Plumbed water. That's all you need guys. Cooking, plumbed water, lighting, fridge. Done. I'm not going to pretend it's the best, but I mean, it's practical, it's simple, it works. So we've got the bed. We've got a 150 mil posturopedic mattress. With a slight incline, which actually promotes better sleep. The incline helps and promotes better and healthier sleep. No, no. <laughs> also gives you a sore neck by the morning. We, yeah, we've researched. Moving on to the back, we have more mattress. <laughs> Some baggage storage. So basically we stack everything during the day and then underneath the car at night so it stays dry. And the fridge is out of the car, but full. Can we just look at where it's powered? Go off your it's powered from a yeah. really high-tech 12-volt system. We got the go block. Okay, the red art go block. And the go block is plugged straight into the 12-volt socket in the back of the Jeep. One person in the car and one in the swag, and we'll swap each night to make it fair. A chair each, a table cooker, and the gazebo for the common area. And look how many animals it has attracted. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. So I'm not going to pretend it's the best, but... I it's mean, like the main watering hole. Okay, that's it. <laughs> so it's the best. It's a, everyone conjures here, which means it must be the best. We went pretty well. We did our research before going to Super Cheap Auto, making sure we got all the things that we needed, like a table, cooker, utensils, everything we need, including a uh, jerry for water. Yes, and lighting. Lighting, yes, we haven't let in there start on yet. Um, so yeah, we pretty much smashed up the Super Cheap thing. We even got chairs as well. Um, because we pretty much made the car to live out of so we didn't actually need much like sleeping and camping gear like that from Super Cheap. So and just to highlight, our setup took, we were set up and sitting down in like two minutes. within two minutes, everyone else is still setting up, so yep. putting it out there. So we've got our swing arm with our water that's got a tap to it so that we can pull water whenever we want. We've got our bed, we both sleep in here, it's raised, we've got our compartment so our food is here, kitchen supplies, our table pulls out. Um, towels on the side and more clothing bags with our dual battery. There's 12 volt that runs to under here as well. So we're charging our phones, cameras and a fridge, but we're organized. We've taken the female approach of being organized, being easy, sufficient and effortless. So it sleeps for a double so a couple can be in there and there's like a yeah. headboard so that your pillows can't fall over. It's perfect. And we've got the sunroof we can crack. Yes, yes. and the sunroof that we can crack so we get the fresh air. And if it rains, not a problem. And if someone tries to lock us in the back, which I promise will happen with these people, yeah, we can just climb over the front and get out. <laughs> All right, well, uh, we've done the math. Sam Wiles takes the win. Yeah. The roof's up. With Mitchie. Yes. <laughs> we put a lot of work and money into that. And number two. <laughs> there's, a, there's a heavy debate for number two. All right, the girls take second. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the disco gets third, and uh, the big old Jeep she comes in for. I put so much power. work and effort into that. We've got automated power coming, don't you? Yeah, look a little bit unhappy with that decision just quietly. Uh, because <laughs> they can't even sit up in their bed. They, it's a single bed with two you people. You can't sit up in yours, you didn't even bring your pole. <laughs> so I'm sleeping in the back of the car because I forgot 
all my swag poles. You could stand up in that. I feel like bringing a swag is way less effort than putting a bed in a car. We no, it's with not. We were set up with a two they just put a, We could put a mattress inside. The, I can pull a mattress out and put it in. You're going to give me a phone? Why, well, it'll be flat. Yeah, but yeah, it's not flat. Of course it is. You haven't built anything in there. Don't need to. The take floor is, floor is flat. flat. Yeah, no, but then the crates couldn't work. Anyways, a bit of a debate, but uh, they're the boats. They're final. And um, yeah, it's very time to go back. It's in their awnings falling apart. Yeah, the awnings are falling apart. Time to cook a feed and we'll kick back and enjoy a few beers. And it's actually surprisingly good, like better than my swag. Happy and I wasn't cold, comfy. Just couldn't get out in the morning. We yeah. both had crazy dreams and we think we're slightly downhill and the brain has extra blood. We're having psycho dreams because of it. It sounds like it. It was it was tight, it was warm, we didn't even shut the back door and um, it was man. Bergie! Get the billy on! <laughs> Alright, so look, it's no uh it's no coffee machine. But uh, we're gonna smack a couple of these in Cafe. Little satchels this morning. Bergie's got the bacon and eggs on the go. The girls are still in bed, shock, all right? And uh, <laughs> yeah, we'll have a quick little feed. This looks like the same camp setup I had when I was 18. There's just <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Everyone's got things sprawled halfway across the campsite, but we'll have a bit of a feed and then uh, we're gonna get on the road because uh, we've got a couple of Pretty cool challenges coming up today. Tell you more about that very shortly. Bacon and eggs for breakfast. Happy days. Can we have a breakfast bar, mate? Nah, uh, bar's closed. Lockout was 8 a.m., mate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, well there we go, that is episode one of the Budget Build Challenge, done and dusted, what a hell day. Uh, we just woke up at Red Cliff Beaches. What's planned today mate, where are we going? Today, challenge, my challenge, straight to the beach. Yep. Uh, highway pressures. Highway pressures, soft sand, he's got a couple of other challenges and then we're actually off to a place called Rover Park <laughs> where it's probably going to start getting really wild. So, yep. that's the end of this ep guys. If you want to check out the next episode, no mucking around, tomorrow night, get over to TJ Jack's channel. The link is in the description. Four nights in a row, every night guys, you've got to get over to a different channel. TJ's on Monday, Sam's on Tuesday, the girls are on Wednesday. That's it. Uh, and then come back Thursday night to my channel for a wrap up of the whole entire thing, guys. But that's it. Uh, shout out to all my subscribers. Smash the like button and uh, stay tuned because it's about to really get a little bit gnarly. Let's go. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Let's go. Right. Let's go. <laughs> 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 so what a guy, what a guy. Let's shoot it on my shelf. That was perfect, that was perfect.